Hey everybody, um, take two on uh, this wonderful uh, day. Um, I recorded a video for this, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm going to do an audio uh, version today. Um, this is KO Podcast Home, uh, Monday, January 21st, no, no, 22nd, no, 19, 20, 21, 22nd, Monday the 22nd, uh, hold on, let me check my yeah, it's the 22nd. So, anyway, um, anybody watch any football this weekend? Uh, I really hate that the Patriots are in uh, the Super Bowl again because it's they're not a fun team. I mean, Gronk is fun, but the uh, Tom Brady is just like, I'm just going to show up, I'm going to smile, and I'm going to throw uh, my ass off in the fourth quarter and... Like, he's great. I mean, he's really great. Uh, but in terms of, uh, like, personality, I mean, he doesn't have one. Like, it's football. Uh, I'm going to throw the football. Uh, like, I'm going to focus on the team. Uh, and he's 40 years old, and that doesn't really do anything. I mean, like, it, it, it makes it, like, uh, a question mark about how he's in such great shape. I mean... Uh, that avocado ice cream uh, and kale smoothies and uh, plant-based diet that he has, I mean, he works his ass off and he, he suffers for it, but if it comes out, like, like he just goes to uh, like a doctor that's not a doctor and just gets uh, like some uh, supplements, I mean, uh, it's gonna like uh, chip at the legend. So, anyway, um, the other game was the Eagles and the Vikings, and uh, I like. I feel sorry for certain things because I believe in jinxes. When uh, Jalen uh, Ramsey said that they were going to the Super Bowl, I called it right there. I was like, "Nope, I, I, something's going to happen." You're, uh, you said it. Now, now you're going to lose. And sure enough, uh, Tom Brady. Uh, uh, did it, but the one on the Viking side, though, that one was a little bit harder to take because, like, Roger Goodell gave a hundred or a ninety-nine-year-old fan of the Vikings Super Bowl tickets. Ninety-nine years old gave her the tickets. Uh, when the Vikings lost, I was waiting for the news that the team killed her. Just like uh, their incompetence, uh, like uh, broke her heart. So. Okay, I just got to speak in measured voices so that when I'm uh, recording that my phone doesn't cut me off because I'm still having the same goddamn problem as before. So, anyway, uh, here we go. Um, Eagles, uh, I really hope they win. I don't care for them. They're not the Giants, and they've, they're in the NFC East. Uh, so, if they win they win good for them but i'm gonna miss the fact that they're a team that never uh won the super bowl before like that's a point of pride i think in when i talk about the other teams in the conference but uh i did some stuff uh over the weekend um uh, i got that uh steady uh the stabilizer built and it works, but it doesn't work perfectly. Um, it's not a perfect stabilizer, but for what I intend to do, it's 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 there. So uh, I just got to put a GoPro cam on it, maybe do some fine tuning, uh, like get the length of the wires right, and make and stabilize the weight on it so that doesn't move. And then it'll be good to go. Um, the uh, things I wrote over the weekend. I wrote a script for the Ghost City competition. I'm really proud of how it turned out. Like, uh, you only have five pages to tell a story, and I'm really uh, happy with the story that I told. Uh, I just gotta register now and do that. Get, get it. I heard you said it to the artist to get his opinion, so um, I'm still feeling that depression from... Uh, getting turned down by the one anthology so 
I'm really looking forward to hoping like uh, this or uh, or I get a call from uh, Top Cow and like uh, the Top Cow talent hunt uh, thing came through, but I don't know. They got I, I got the final message and I'm pretty sure they're gonna announce to people. Like if I hear the announcement before I get the message, then I know that I didn't get it. But uh, that one I'm I'm not so like torn up about because I know uh, uh, there's hundreds of people uh, entering and it's not just me, so I, I know they're good. And plus, like I know from uh, when you make stuff and you know what works and what doesn't work in your vision, uh, you could have the most talented person uh, around it, and it still won't work. Uh, like, uh, Chris Pratt uh, wanted to be in G.I. Joe, but he was still a little heavy set. So, the director, I, all right, all right, know for sure. I figured it out. It's every goddamn three minutes that this thing cuts out. So, for whatever reason, it records in three minute intervals. So, I gotta check this out. I gotta find that in the goddamn settings. Anyway, so, Chris Pratt didn't uh, make it uh, onto G.I. Joe. He didn't make it to a couple other things. It wasn't until, like, he went and auditioned for Marvel, and they were like, um, you can lose some weight, right? He was like, yep. And that's how uh, we got fit Chris Pratt. So, uh, yeah. So, I understand. Like, if, if I'm not the, the, the thing they want, then I'm not the thing they want. But, God damn it, it'd be nice if I was. So, anyway. Um, I wrote a couple things for S.H.I.E.L.D. that uh, I'm happy with that. Is what, no, I shouldn't say I'm happy with it. I'm, if I can do two a night, like I did the other day, like get two parts done and then go straight into uh, editing because I, I'm, I think part of it is getting past the idea of a perfect first draft and you just go get it down on the page as ugly and as malformed as it is you can fix it you can edit it and then you show people like the fixed and edited version so that you have a starting point so you don't look like a complete idiot uh, then I'll start the next thing eventually, uh, which is probably going to be Anathema, which I'll more on that later. Um, it's going to be good. Uh, this week, my goals are to uh, write three chapters, at least, for Shield Lad. I want to... Uh, register like actually be on the books register just confirm with my artist that he is down to do it uh so that that is a team otherwise i really don't i don't think i have the ability to draw what i wrote perfectly uh but god damn it i will i will do stick figures i will do rage comics if i have to all right i got 30 seconds until the out so i'm going to test this thing i'm going to see uh, if it is every three minutes that these things are going off. So, all right. Check it out. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Son of a bitch, that theory doesn't work. Okay. okay. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. It wasn't accurate, but it's a little over every three minutes that it cuts out. So I just got to uh, pay attention to that from now on. So, okay. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is a longer uh, thing than what I uh, shot was. Like, I'm going to throw that on there like just to... Because uh, the camera setup I had was... Like, it wasn't staying put. It wasn't locking in place. So, like, shit like that. Like, I don't care if, like... I'm shooting this in my car right now. I don't really care about, like, appearances. But, like... Don't be so horrible. Like, Ed Wood is a rule of mine. Like, uh... 
like that Ed Wood uh, don't worry we got it we we never took a second shot sort of thing like uh if that, if that is if, if Johnny Depp is anything uh, like that performance if that's anything like the, what really happened I mean uh, or it's like uh, don't get me wrong I can appreciate uh, like a lot of the things that Ed Wood it's for, it's for, Ed Wood should be like the first thing that they show you in a filmmaking class just because uh, you're, you'll get a sense of how hard things can be, like, real quick, so, like, using the, the lights the, of cars to, like, light things, like, like, uh, in high school, I, I used to make, uh, like, student films, and, uh, there was a film competition that the students did, and that was how the kids did it, like, they, they used the car lights to, uh, as the lighting for what they were doing, and, like, that to me just shows that ingenuity, uh, like, it takes many forms and it, and it repeats itself. Okay, um, I'm trying to think of what else I want to do. Uh, once I get RPG Princess, like, mostly drawn, like, the stuff that I wanted to look a certain way, I'm just going to give it to somebody else, like... I, I need it to look a little bit professional, so I, I'm going to uh, ask around to see if anybody wants to ink it. Um, I have certain guys that I want to ask first, see if they're interested. Um, I'm not even going to think about drawing uh, the companion piece to that, but RPG Princess is, like, while I'm doing um, uh, the movie that I'm trying to make, uh, I, I got to start asking people if they want to be in it, because... I could shoot it in three days. Let me repeat that. I could shoot it in three days. Uh, so, I need one day at one location, one day on the road, and one day at another location. Which is not to say that I could break it up into more, but it'd be like real simple to um, just do it on in certain ways. So... Hell, I might be able to get some shooting done this week if I can, so. Uh, I still haven't come up with a title I'm happy with. Uh, it's inspired by Hot Ones, and it deals with, like, spicy foods, but... Like, I just want to go some with an hokey or whatever, like, right now. Just call it Guts of Steel or... Uh, like, uh, Fire Down Below or something, like, just, like, rip off the Steven uh, Seagal movie name, uh, but anyway, I, I need to come up with a better title than what I'm currently working with, and I haven't thought of anything yet, but, uh, I might go, pro uh, uh, like, Project Hot Sauce or whatever, Anyway, uh, I'm going to end this one here, so uh, uh, if you guys can, uh, follow me on Instagram, M-W-K-A-Y-A-L, M -W -K -A -Y -A -L. it's the same on Twitter, M-W-K-A-Y-A-L, and my Facebook page is Double Barrel Theater uh, on Facebook, so if you guys could check that out, I'd really appreciate it, so peace! Hey everybody, um... Take two on uh, this wonderful uh, day. Um, I recorded a video for this, but I didn't like the way it turned out, so I'm going to do an audio uh, version.